Hello everybody and welcome to another edition of Drew's Food Reviews and today I've got another episode of Search for Snacks. Now, I don't even remember where I found this. I found this a while ago. I think it was in my grocery store. I'm gonna give it a try. I don't know anything about it and I don't even know if it's still out there. It's been sitting there a really long time and uh, it might be past its expiration date. It's in the freezer. And this is called, this from Foster Farms is called Mighty Bites. Uh, Mighty Bites, and it's chicken, chicken snackers, wild buffalo flavor. Now this one's a little different because what you do is it says, hold on to your taste buds because they're about to be trampled by wild buffalo style wing flavor. Mighty Bites crispy chicken snackers have big bold flavors. Sprinkle on the classic buffalo style seasoning for a flavor that will make your taste buds go wild. So, um, conventional toaster oven, microwave. Um, and what you do is you put them in there, you, you, you heat them up from frozen. And I guess there's a seasoning packet in there and then you sprinkle it on and you toss it. And um, so it's got buffalo seasoning. Now that's kind of interesting. I think they might've had some other ones, barbecue and, and maybe garlic or something. I'm not really sure, but I'm gonna give this a try. Open it up for you guys. Uh, wow, you can see the uh, the pieces there, and then this has got the seasoning. <laughs> yeah, buffalo seasoning. All right, so it says best used before 2092. 20923. <laughs> 8, 7, 29, 2, 20. <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, I'm gonna give it a try. So hang on guys, I'm gonna try and put this in the mic in the um, toaster oven for a few minutes and uh, see how it works. So stay, stay tuned guys. All right guys, I'm back. So I put it in the air fryer for oh, about 10 minutes, kind of tossed them as I went. And then once I came out, once they came out, put them in a bowl and then open up the seasoning packet, tossed it around, got them nice and coated. And this is what they look like. They've got that uh, buffalo seasoning, very strong on that one. And most of them got pretty well coated. They got nice and crispy, as you can kind of see that. Um, yeah, and hopefully they are gonna be cook up. I'm gonna also see how hot they are. Um, very pungent on that um, seasoning. It came with a pretty good bag had quite a lot and it equally coated all of them. Um, this would probably be better, like I said, if you did them in a deep fryer even, or I'll put them in the oven. Got them nice and crispy, but um, did pretty good job in the, the toaster oven or the, the air fryer. So here we go, guys. The Mighty Bites Buffalo. Very crispy. A little, whoa, hmm. that's got some kick to it. Whoa. Buffalo bites, yeah. Very spicy on that buffalo. Wow. Pretty good amount of coating too. I had a lot left over that kind of stuck to the bowl. I suppose I could uh, kind of scrape it off and toss it on there if you want it really hot. Hmm, heat scale about a six, six out of 11. Quite spicy. Hmm. Fairly crunchy. And the um, the ratio of the chicken to the breading is actually pretty good. Um, reminds me of like shake and bake. But wow. Got some lingering burn to it. Cool. One more time, guys. Hmm. Hmm. You can see that they got heated through. Wow. Fair amount of cutting. That's the, those are actually good. I need to try and find those again. <laughs> I don't know if they were even out, but wow. All right, and I have some a little bit of blue cheese. I'm gonna put a little bit of blue cheese on one of them to see if that kind of helps tame it down. 
and I, like I said, I got them pretty well coated. Did a little at a time. All right, so. All right, so yes. Anticipation, all right. The blue cheese does help. I suppose you could dip it in that. Mm. Still pretty spicy throughout. Lingers a little bit. Those are actually very good. Um, as far as chicken, tenders are not mushy. They're not soggy. I think the air fryer really helped to crisp those up. A lot of times when you get the frozen chicken pieces they're all kind of um you know mushy and stuff like that these are actually really good and yes it does kind of wake up your taste buds i guess so for that one hmm surprise i'm surprised about this one for the flavor for the uh, texture all that stuff uh for the mighty bites wild buffalo chicken snackers from foster farm now that one's good i'll give that a nine Nine out of 11. <laughs> it's not like as good as some of those, um, the spicy McNuggets or the um, the ghost pepper nuggets and some of those. Um, it doesn't have the tempura batter. It's got that uh, corn and cornmeal batter. So that's the one thing that kind of takes it down a little bit. It doesn't get as crispy as the light tempura batter, beer battered ones. Uh, but certainly, if you like something a little bit spicy, um, go ahead and go for it. Now, I don't know if you could recreate that spice yourself. Um, I think they actually have spices. I, I've I like shaker spices and stuff, buffalo, that you could put like on chicken, coating, marinades, dry rubs. So that would be something that uh, you could do. So if you're looking for adventure, go with the buffalo style. And like I said, I think they had some other ones. I think it was like um, uh, maybe honey barbecue or something like that. I don't even remember. I just happened to see it. I pick it out a while ago. So if you liked the video, go ahead, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe and the notification bell over here. That way you won't miss any future content. Or if I go live, you won't miss the fun. So until next time, I'm Drew's Food Reviews, when I'll be trying something new and spicy chicken for you. I will finish these off and I'll try and find them again. So until next time, guys, I'll talk to you later.